What's up guys, it's Brian from Ashware Hub. It's about 8.32 p.m. March 7th, 2018, coming to you with a brand new Bitcoin uh, video. Um, yeah, Bitcoin. I know it's a shocker. So, if you're new to us, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, get your butts on over to Steam It and DTube links are down below. Whether or not you're new to us or not, you got to be on Steam It and DTube because a lot of times our videos come out there first. It just... Just it just matters which which platform uploads it faster. That's really about it. And if you're if you're coming to us from the northeast, you've probably uh, been hit with quite a amount of snow like we have in this nor'easter. Um, so I think somebody reached out to us from Maine. We're not in Maine. We're not in Maine, my man. We're in uh, New York, um, right around New York City. So um, let's get right into it. When we had drawn this. Originally, our fifth wave was somewhere along here, okay? That's what we were thinking. Now, the fifth wave is here, all right? We think that this is where it is. It has dropped off, uh, dropped off too, and the fifth wave is complete. But to give you guys an idea, Fibonacci-wise, how, we, how far um, we've, uh, we've, we've gone on this is let's just go ahead and let's just draw it. Okay, we've gone way past what all the typical ones are, and we're about halfway between the 2.618 and the 3.618. Okay, right about here, and and that's that's quite a fifth wave. Yeah, okay, it's it's extended, but it doesn't really make a difference to us. We were looking for a fifth wave anyway, right? I mean, that's what we. I mean, that, that's what we said last video. <clears throat> so. We had also had, had this hidden support line here, this daily of 10,175. I think we had that here, had that there uh, at least at least uh, two days ago, possibly three days ago. I think it was about three days ago. And when we, when, when we were coming out with this, you know, people were basically telling us to, uh, to go away. It'll, it's never going to get down there. You're crazy. You're nuts. You this, that, the other thing. Go away, old man, and, uh, and go away with your old school technical analysis. Well... It didn't just get there. It got, went right past it. Okay, um, I don't think anybody thought it was gonna. It was basically gonna fall off to the extent that it did, or at least as quickly as it did, right? And it did do it. I mean, obviously, it's on the chart, right? And not only did it go through this ten thousand one hundred seventy-five, but it also went through the uh, what used to be the resistance line, now a support line, this top of the wedge, right? This green line, this green line right here. Okay, and it went through it like, like in a, in a blink of an eye. So now the problem becomes: Is this going to become significant resistance? Okay, is this going to become significant resistance? I mean, already I'm looking at this on a one-hour basis. Let's look at this on a thirty-minute basis. I mean, already it's proving to be resistance. I mean, look at it, and we we had these, you know. Two scissor uh, candles show up right here. The market came down a bit, came back up again, right? It's coming back down again. Um, I'm hoping that this does not prove to be a significant amount of resistance. Otherwise, um, we may have further down to go. So one of the things I'm going to do this daily with 10,175, I'm going to leave it up here for probably about another day or two because I want to see how the price action um, uh, you know, reacts around it um, because sometimes even when the market when the market goes through it, it tends to try to come back up to it, and it's a good place to go ahead and you know if you're trading things on a, on a, on any really any basis, you need to you need to know where these things where these things sit. So, um, <clears throat> wow, it's coming off again. All right, so the big question is, the big question is this. So this is a zigzag, right? A five, three, five, five, and then an ABC, and then five down. All right, and that's typical. That's you know straight up um, Elliott wave theory, not a problem. The problem becomes is if this right here is only three waves. If this uh, motive wave, what's supposed to be a motive wave, turns out only to be f five waves. Well, then it's not a motive wave. It's actually a corrective wave. And what is it a correction of? It's a correction of a motive wave going down. Okay, everything flips on its head. 
it's a, it's now we're in, in, in thinking things in a bearish in a bearish um, tone. So if this is only three waves up, well then there's a good chance then we will have five waves down again. Okay, five waves down again. We saw what could happen here. You know, I don't need to do the the, the math for you, but it can it can it can get down pretty low. So um, where where are we seeing this, right? So we, again, if it's five waves down, A B C is up. That's your three. So five, three, and then five. Now, if this is like I said, if this is three waves up, then what are we going to be looking at? We're going to be looking at possibly what's called in Elliott wave theory a double zigzag, and a double zigzag is um, sometimes coined a W X Y, right? And the W X Y would look something like this. So we got our W X, you know, depending on this where the one, two, three is, and then a Y. Now I'm not drawing exactly where the Y may may uh, lead to, right? Because I want to see what's gonna happen here first. Right? I want to see what's going to happen here first. So this WXY, right? I mean, it could can't even go further. This WXY can turn to a WXYXZ where we have another run up and then we have another five ways back down. So where could this possibly get to right here? Well, it's hard to say. Um, Let's take a look at things on an opposite basis, right? Let's see where, how far this down move can retrace, can uh, retrace back up, right? So, I mean, we could have. I mean, it's sitting at the point two three six right now. We could get back up to the point three eight two. You get back to the 0.382 pretty easy. The 0.382 is about 10,303. This is one of the ways I like to look at it. There's a, you know, a few other different ways, but right now the big question really is the big question really is um, yeah, okay, so let me call these numbers out again. 10,303 is at the 0.382 and the 0.236 is 9,974. Okay. Um, I know some people watch this on their phone and they, they can't they can't see it all that easily. So again, the question becomes, what happens right here? Right here. Um, let's look at this on a thir uh, fifteen minute basis. It's kind of messy, right? I mean, I'm, I haven't counted this directly, but I mean, this this could be an A. Um, we could be looking for a B, right? And then maybe where there's going to be a C, right? Maybe maybe uh, maybe a smaller B, and then it'll be a C, a bit higher. So if this can take a few different types of formations, but all of them three wave. If it's going to be a W X Y, I'm hoping is that we get five waves coming out of this thing, right? I mean, so far it's looking pretty flat, so. Um, if it's looking pretty flat, then in my, you know, just in my experience, then it tends not to be, you know, a motive like wave, which, um, can, can signal further, further, um, further capitulation. In other words, further, uh, further, further trend down. So, um, you know, where are we big picture basis? Um, <clears throat> EMA, 55 EMA, we are obviously below it. Well, this is on a 15, 15 minutes basis. Look at it on a one. Let's look at it on a one hour basis. Let's use this new trick. Yeah. New trick is if you went ahead and you adjust the scale somehow, right? In other words, where auto no longer is is um, is highlighted. If you want to go ahead, instead of going ahead and right clicking and click reset chart, you just go on the right side and you double click it. I know. Sick. Amazing. <laughs> so, um, uh, 
the hell is I talking about? Yeah, on a larger on a larger scale. Oh, before we even get to that, so look at the volume that came in here, right at the bottom. Look at this huge volume. Right, look at this huge volume that came in. This is on one hour basis. Let's look at things on a four hour basis. Even on a four hour basis, this is big volume. This is big boy type stuff. Right? And people were really selling this thing off quite a bit. And then it came kind of like almost like a dead cat bounce. That's a that's a terminology from, from the traditional markets. So all right, so let's go back and let's look at things on a larger basis. Man, I had too much to eat. I got such heartburn. I'm sorry, guys. So, um, on a daily basis, <clears throat> it doesn't look too good. We have, um, remember, we went through these candles right here. Um, light of indecision turned turn bearish. Big bearish. Sometimes what can happen is we can get a th third large bearish candle. Um, that's a bit foreshadowing, a bit more as far as candle analysis, you know, really should be used for, but it is a pattern that comes up um, pretty pretty frequently. So uh, on, a, on a Laguerre RSI basis, you know, we're still we're still heading down, right? We're not in an overbought position, but we're still heading down. On a one hour basis, we're heading back up again. So let's go over real quick some of these hidden resistance lines the updates on the hidden hidden resistance line so on the one hour basis we're looking at 10,370 right here 10,370 moves that back down here On a four-hour basis, what are we looking at? Four-hour basis, 10,582. 10,582. All right. So those are some hidden support, uh, excuse me, hidden resistance lines. See, I still have this bullish mentality. Um, um, <clears throat> these are some hidden resistance lines and um, you know these things will continue to get update I'll probably try to update them more on our Facebook uh, page a bit more a bit more um, frequently than having to make videos it's just it's just a lot easier so um, with that said I think we're just gonna leave it there for right now not much else really to say um, right now this Anytime the market has a huge kind of sell-off like that, it kind of almost needs to like catch its breath. And possibly, I'm hoping that it's catching its, its, bre its breath in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At the very least, it's going to catch its breath in a larger ABC that, 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 that has, that, that's going to run a bit higher. The problem is, is I see that this is a significant amount of resistance right now. That's kind of what the candles are telling me right now. I mean, look at this, right? Um, so the bulls kind of brought it up. The bears try to bring it back down. The bulls won again, right? Everybody's taking their profits from the guys that were shorting this stuff, right, on the way down. And then what we what do we have? The the bulls try to try to pull, push it up again, right? Say, oh wait, no, sorry, <laughs> my bad. We made a mistake. You know, we didn't really mean to go down this go down this far. When you really needed meant to support it at a at a higher level. Wait, we didn't mean to dip below this uh, this resistance line, this key resistance line right here, this green line. Um, you know, our bad. Oh, just let us let us walk right 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 through that door. And and no, the 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 bear said absolutely not. They they close the door. It's exactly what happened on this candle, right? They tried to move it all the way up. Pierce right, pierce right through this green line, and 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 the bear said, "Nope, sorry, right back down." The bulls didn't even have enough energy within the next candle, or even the candle after that, right? This is kind of like, you know, it's almost like uh, one of the guys used to work for used to call it like an expand, like a like a, an expanded doji. It's like a fat doji, a doji that just, just ate too much, you know, pizza or something like that. Because um, I freaking love pizza. 
So uh, nothing against pizza. Sorry, pizza. But um, um, yeah. I mean, it's 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 indec- It's it, there's no decision here. It, it it's an it's a, a candle of indecision because the the wick on the top and the wick on the bottom is somewhat equivalent, right? Yeah. Okay. The body is is still not like a line like a doji candle, but it is. Uh, you know, it's not a huge body, right? And then right now we're seeing this is uh, uh, you know starting to become a bit more bearish. So. That's really my uh, two seconds right now, quite a bit more than two seconds uh, right now. Um, I'll have obviously a far more extensive video in the morning, um, but for right now, we're going to leave it right there. And um, yeah, talk to you guys soon. Happy trading.